come along to one of these meetings. I didn't really know what it was. And then next thing you know, I'm, I'm here and I'm part of the Arts Collective. <laughs> People do music, people do film, people do conventional type of art and stuff. It's even among the different categories, there's loads of different artists with different inspirations and different ways that they apply it, which is a lovely atmosphere to be around. You turn up to one of the meetings and um, you get surprised at what kind of is there to do. Like you end up dabbling in lots of different things that maybe you didn't expect. I never saw myself doing events management and now I've, I've found a, a big love for it. I love seeing what other people make. I love seeing the ideas that other people come up with. And like, when we do our shows, it's really interesting watching all these different pieces sort of come to life. There's a social side to it as well, which does sometimes make me get a little bit off topic, but that's also a nice thing because obviously all of us are very creative people so we've all got a lot of things in common even if we do very different things. You've got a lot of humble, really lovely humble people there and you don't realise until the takeover comes along about how talented they are and you get to see all that art showcase and you're just like, wow. I do a lot of performance work that's a bit weird and a bit crazy and like a lot of the time there isn't really a market for that because people look at it like, oh, what the hell are you doing? But in this kind of community, people kind of get, get each other and they get art and they kind of understand what it's all about. So, so a takeover is when uh, the Wilson Arts Collective takes over the Wilson. Uh, for the evening and we put on live music and we put on performance arts and everyone in the collective showcases something of their own whether that's art or performance. We've got some really great talent and we've got some really great potential but it just isn't portrayed enough. Apart from the world now, there's not really a lot of places that creative control get involved in and show work and kind of expose their talent to the public. Our community in Cheltenham is there, but it's all separated. We've got lots of artists in Cheltenham that work on their own kind of sporadically and I think it would be really nice to have a place to bring them all together. Art-wise, Cheltenham is kind of missing the middle ground. You've got the, the town hall, which is very good for bigger stages, bigger art, bigger um, performances. And then you've got um, the Frog and Fiddle, which is very good for upcoming musicians and smaller bands. But there's not really that middle ground. Cheltenham is missing the contact with its younger people to let them know about all of the opportunities that are around, because they could so easily put leaflets, put out information about of the opportunities. There are actually a lot more than people realise. It's, you just can't always see it. When you're expressing art, you're expressing a part of yourself. And if you can inspire someone or if you can bring people together, I think that's what's most important. <laughs>